This is Twit. Did you see the the piece about uh, these AI assistants at meetings and how terrible it is? Let me see if I can. Uh, I don't know what piece you're talking about, but I will say it's truly the bane of my existence when I get in a <laughs> specifically like a company Zoom meeting and someone has their little Otter AI thing there. It's like <laughs> yes. we're not allowed to record our company meetings, guys. Oh, you're not? It's like, no, oh, it's well, been no. a like whole thing. They've had to like make announcements. There's a it's whole Bloom you know? Bloomberg's weekend essay from Chris Stokel Walker. Please stop inviting AI note takers to meetings. Using artificial intelligence to summarize meetings raises questions about etiquette, privacy, and the purpose of the meeting in the first place. It sounds like uh, the information some, some of them aren't just note takers. My, my guy, wonderful former student of mine named Joe Amditas, who's at Montclair State, uh, he plays with all the tools. So his will will tell you who's speaking the most in the meeting. Uh, I think that's what good. What the tone is in the meeting. I think that's great. Uh, all kinds of things added in. So we did it one time with with uh, the, the the dean of the school. He was like all nervous, like, oh, no, I'm talking too much. Well, if I were a woman at meetings, <laughs> I would know, definitely run that thing to say, yeah. look how many uh, Or podcasts, right, got. Paris? <laughs> we can use it here. Certainly. <laughs> uh and again, he raises uh, the issues, or actually one of the interview subjects raises the issues of hallucinations, which I think is not as much of a problem as it used to be, especially when you're working off a corpus of, of knowledge, like a transcript of a meeting. Well, this goes to the piece, if I may. No, I, I don't really know. It, especially with, uh, depending on what transcription service you're using or what model, oh, there could be errors in can definitely, like yeah. I've oh, noticed yeah. this with oh, Mac oh, Whisper, because yeah. you can pick from like dozens of different models and there are some that it has like a very specific hallucination bugs um that are kind of margaret mitchell the author co-author of the uh, famous stochastic parrots piece i want to get her or or and or tim tim net gebru on let's make a note of that they would be great they margaret, were the ones i think who, has a brand new book out so that can be more reason to she's chief ethics scientist at a uh, hugging face we asked the uh, CTO of Hugging Face no. to join us, and he said he doesn't do, uh, he only does in person calls. <laughs> only ones where you can hug his face. I said, I think that means no, but I, I don't know. Unless you, you want to host to him. Say no. I think it's a creative way to say no. Anyway, you, she says using an AI note taker is much more like recording a meeting than taking your own notes. Quote, some of the etiquette around recording applies. For instance, anyone using an AI note taker should let others in the meeting know, well, of course, and give them the right to veto the AI's attendance. Zoom has it built in. You can push a button on a Zoom call. In fact, do we do that? Could I do that on this call? Yeah. AI companion. Request access for AI companions. Ask the host. I'm asking the host right now. Are you the host, Benito? Yeah, it's me. It's asking me. Do Say we yes. need an AI companion in here? Well, I would. we could at least, okay. So uh, we just turned it on, so I'm not going to push the catch me up button. Oh, <laughs> look at the mean? questions you can ask. Was my name mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any action items? So it's really good for somebody who's sleeping through the meeting. What topics have been discussed? <laughs> it really is for someone who wasn't paying attention. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that on. And at the end of the show, you can we can say, hey, did they mention me? Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>